What happened during the Great Fire of London? Writing things down in a diary helps people to remember important things. I'd write down what I wanted to eat every day. I learnt about diaries from my mum, who learnt from her mum, who learnt from... You get the idea. All the way back in history. All the way back over 350 years ago to 1666, the year of the Great Fire of London. In those days when people wrote diaries, instead of using pens, they dipped feather tips in ink and wrote with that instead. Oh, there's my ancestor! The Great Fire of London started at a bakery in Pudding Lane when everyone was asleep. It spread quickly. News of the fire spread too and it reached a man called Samuel Pepys who worked for the King and liked to write in his diary. Dear diary, today is Sunday. Hmm, what else can I say? Excuse me, Mr Pepys, sir. I'll bring bad news. Excellent. Something to put in my diary. I mean, <clears throat> her what? Her bad news? I've heard that more than 300 houses have been burned by a fire, sir, but it's still going. Then I'll take a closer look. Dear Dial, today I decided to go and look at a big fire. People were escaping from the fire and carrying their favourite things to safety. Samuel Pepys wanted to warn King Charles II, so he took his boat down the river to the palace. Here, the king lived with lots of dogs that looked a bit like him. Your Majesty, I've come to tell you that London's on fire. What's up, Schmookums? Hmm. We must command the Lord Mayor to pull down all the houses in front of the fire so it has no fuel to burn, then the fire will die down. Good boy. Well, thank you, Your Highness. Not you, Peeps. So Peeps went to command the Lord Mayor to pull down the houses while King Charles II followed up the Thames in his royal barge to see the fire for himself. I thought I commanded the Lord Mayor to put this fire out. Why is it still here? Hmm. Huh? We'll get the army in to help pull down the houses with those big hooks. When the fire hasn't got wood to burn, it will soon fizzle out. Huh? They use the fireworks. But they didn't stop the fire. Over the next two days, the fire doubled in size and destroyed half the city of London. People escaped to the outside of the city, trying to save their most precious possessions. Some people stored things in churches with thick stone walls, like St Paul's Cathedral, but then even that burned down too. It seemed there was nowhere safe from the fire, so everyone was really worried, including the diary writer Samuel Pepys. Dear diary, I'm so worried. I have the most delicious cheese, but it might melt. How can I keep it safe from the fire? He dug a hole to bury his precious cheese and wine in his garden. Then he went to bed. Suddenly, the wind changed direction and the fire started moving towards Pepys' house. Many more people left, including Samuel Pepys. He took his diary and his gold, but he left his cheese and wine. Farewell, London. I'll be back. Take good care of my cheese. Poor Samuel Pepys leaving his cheese behind. Oh, I'm not sure I've much room for any more of this. How much of London will be left when Pepys returns? And what about his cheese? <laughs>